It is currently the 23rd of October 2020. Always important to remember the date when watching these YouTube videos or Facebook videos uh, in regards to the weather because it does change from day to day. Today, the big topic, of course, is Saudel out here in the South China Sea. Now a typhoon as it moves towards the west of the Philippines, but also a new area we are continuing to watch. And this one very well is gonna bring a nice load of rainfall across the side over towards Luzon where you don't need any more rain. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Here's a look at some of my social media platforms. Please do follow me on all of them. I got uh, plenty of updates there on what's going on here, what's going on in the Atlantic. And just recently, I got picked up to do some part-time work here at a local TV station in Jacksonville, Florida. So I'm posting a lot, especially on Twitter, about the weather there. So please do go check that out. You can learn about a little bit of the weather there. And people in Jacksonville can learn about the weather around the world, which I like to cover a lot too. Here is Saul Dow on the visible satellite imagery. And here's the key thing. Right now, you can't see a defined eye, but it is a typhoon. It's because look at all this convection really flaring up into the center of it. It's actually indicating us with these overshooting tops right in there that uh, we are seeing a rapidly intensifying storm that has a lot of that upward vertical motion coming with this. A lot of convection out towards the west. Now, the good news, really the only places being impacted by this right now are the Parsley Islands located just towards the east of Hainan. So a couple of uh, rather small Chinese islands out there. Not all too much of a worry. Most of them are military islands. Uh, take a look at microwave imagery though, and we can peer through those upper level clouds. And right here, you can see that there actually is a defined center of circulation there. Actually a pretty decent convective eye wall. And within that, that's where we are seeing those winds. Upwards about 60 to uh, 70 knots sustained based on Dvorak analysis at this time. So a solid, a category one near and category two intensity as this pushes towards the west. So eventually gonna move off here, track to the south of Hainan and weaken out thanks to shear as it nears Vietnam. Fantastic news, my goodness, they do not need another land falling system there. Actually take a look at the uh, forecast. I said 60 to 70, I should have said about 75 with the latest forecast, getting up to about 80 knots at peak intensity and then it'll start to weaken out as it begins to shear off. And then by the time it does make that landfall, you can see we are do get down to a severe tropical storm and then weakening off the tropical storm as it comes on shore. What is the main threat right now? As we've seen in the Philippines, it is the rainfall. I mean, infrared imagery just shows you this big blob here. It doesn't really give you the detail visible imagery does, but what it does show you is those brighter cloud tops, a lot of moisture located within this. And remember, since mid-September, we have had not one, not two, but four storm systems move across the Philippines and over towards Vietnam. This would be number five. So let's talk about the forecast here. First, we're still talking about Saldel. I'll get to this one in just a second. I know a lot of people are curious about that. Saldel moving off towards the west, gonna bring a lot of rainfall across parts of Hainan and then eventually move into the Gulf of Tonkin where it does come on shore well north of Da Nang there in Northern Vietnam. I know there's been some severe floods down here uh, across parts of Laos, even over all the way over towards Thailand. This is gonna stay north of you. That is some fantastic news, but it does come on shore up here in Northern in Vietnam where it's going to be increasing that chance of some additional flooding. Meanwhile, we look back towards the east, we have our next system, which based on the Euro and the GFS models is spinning something up out here just north of Palau and pulling it towards the west on the southern periphery of this high pressure ridge located just south of Okinawa. So main issue here, as I mentioned, the rainfall. 96 hour rainfall forecast does indicate some areas out here about three to 400 millimeters in Vietnam. And with our next invest, which is likely gonna be a named tropical storm, we could see, look at these. Actually, this area's in white right there. That picks up on about four to 500 millimeters. Uh, that looks actually just south, uh, southern Luzon, parts of Samar, maybe even northern Leyte, based on this particular model guidance. Remember, it's a model, storm's still spinning up, but it does give you an idea of how much rainfall is in the forecast here. So pretty significant stuff. All right, so take a look at this high pressure ridge located here just south of Okinawa. You actually got a front that's moving through, even a bit of a cold surge pouring down. That's where you can see these cloud tops here. And I'll get to what's the impact from that in a second, but there's that high pressure ridge. Here's our system. That's gonna work its way on the southern periphery of that ridge and come on shore, as I mentioned, into parts of Vietnam, or excuse me, 
Got everything mixed up here, my geography. Parts of Luzon, Northern Versailles. Another look here with the Japan Meteorological Analysis. You can see that ridge right in there. That's these lines of isobars right there. Another one right there. This is going to move south of that. I keep on emphasizing that because I know there is that trough over Okinawa. I don't expect this to recurve. I expect it to kind of move more on a westwardly track, bringing plenty of rainfall here across central areas of the Philippines. Go back to that ECMWF forecast. You can see that one more time. This is coming on that westerly track. Big rainmaker. Definitely going to be some waves on the east coast, potentially for some winds, tropical storm strength enough to blow around weaker buildings, um, down a few trees, about the same as you just saw with Saudel, locally known as Papito, uh, just this past week. So this is the other thing I want to mention. You have that cold surge coming down. You have two tropical systems. These are the waves that are being seen here all across the East China Sea, down towards the west of the Philippines, 10 to 20 foot seas. Shipping traffic definitely going to be impacted by this. I wanted to point that out because there's just so much going on in the atmosphere here. All that is working together to create some pretty rough conditions out over open water. So the big main things you want to take away with this, well, we're still going to see Saldel weaken. That's some good news, but more rainfall is going to be seen across the Philippines. We are watching our next possible tropical storm in central areas of the Philippines over the coming days and of course large waves across pretty much the entire western pacific so hopefully uh, video does help you guys out i try to make these at least a little bit educational as well try to fill you in on what's causing these storms and why they're strengthening or weakening tomorrow i'll try to post another one on our invest area and get a little more detail and in depth on that as we start to see it spin up anyway stay safe out there guys hopefully you have uh, a great day you are staying safe and if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please let me know down in the comment box below. As I mentioned, please do follow me on all those social media platforms. And lastly, like I said, I am starting that new job, so very excited about that. Anyways, have a great day. All right.